ఎం రాజలక్ష్మి అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆఫ్ స్టాటిస్టిక్స్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ కేఎస్ఆర్ కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్ట్స్ అండ్ సైన్స్ ఫార్ విమెన్ తిర్చంగూడ్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సీ ద టాపిక్స్ ఆఫ్ బేసిక్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ స్టాటిస్టిక్స్ వాట్ ఇస్ స్టాటిస్టిక్స్ సైన్స్ ఆఫ్ కలెక్షన్ ప్రజెంటేషన్ అనాలిసిస్ అండ్ రీజనబుల్ ఇంటర్ప్రిటేషన్ ఆఫ్ డేటా స్టాటిస్టిక్స్ presents a rigorous scientific method for gaining insight into data for example suppose we measure the weight of 100 patients in a study with so many measurements simply looking at the data fails to provide an informative account however statistics can give an instant overall picture of data based on graphical presentation or numerical summarization irrespective to the number of data points besides data summarization another important task of statistics is to make inference and predict relation of variables what is data data is nothing but facts or figures which are numerical or otherwise collected with a definite purpose okay every day we come across a lot of information in the form of facts numerical figures tables graphs etc these are provided by newspapers televisions magazines and other means of communication these may relate to cricket batting or bowling averages profits of a company temperatures of cities expenditures in various sectors of a five year plan polling results and so on these facts or figures which are numerical or otherwise collected with a definite purpose are called data next we are going to see the types of data basically there is two types qualitative data and quantitative data in qualitative data we have two options nominal data and ordinal data likewise in qualitative data discrete data and continuous data okay what is nominal data some examples gender women or men hair color blonde or brown likewise ordinal data first and second letter grades a b c economic status low or medium these are all the few examples of nominal data and ordinal data like that in discrete data what is discrete data that is only countable numbers which is the number of students in a class the number of workers in a company the number of home runs in a baseball game next continuous data continuous data is the height of children the square footage of a two bedroom house likewise next we have in data collection there is primary data and secondary data so what is primary data primary data is the data that is collected for the first time through personal experiences or evidence particularly for research it is also described a raw data or first hand information the mode of assembling the information is costly the data is mostly collected to observations physical testing mailed questionnaires surveys personal interviews telephonic interviews case studies and focus groups etc so next what is secondary data secondary data is a second hand data that is already collected and recorded by some researchers for their purpose and not for the current research problem it is accessible in the form of data collected from different sources such as government publications censuses internal records of the organization books journal articles websites and reports etc this method of gathering data is affordable readily available and saves cost and time however the one disadvantage is that the information assembled is for some other purpose and may not meet the present research purpose or may not occur next we have continuous and discrete data first what is discrete data discrete data is countable which is is the information that can only take certain values 
These values don't have to be whole numbers but they are fixed values such as shoe size, number of teeth, number of kids, etc. Discrete data includes discrete variables that are finite, numeric, countable and non-negative integers. For example, 5, 10, 15 and so on. Continuous data. What is continuous data? Continuous data is measurable but is the data that can take any value which is height, weight, temperature and length are all examples of continuous data. Continuous data changes over time and can have different values of different time intervals like weight of a person. Thank you.